Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, if you are struggling with salah, what that means is shaitan is tampering with you, laziness, and sometimes you might be missing a prayer or two, then what you need to do is become more disciplined. Understand one thing. Salah is one of the most important pillars of Islam, if not the most important pillar of Islam. It is dedicated to Allah alone and shaitan will definitely come to us to try and distract us from it. If you can overcome the whisperings of the devil for that, you will overcome it for a lot of other things. So dedicate yourself to the prayer. We put our heads on the ground for the one who made us five times a day, subhanAllah. He is owed that he made us and we're going to return to him. You know, when you think about death and you think about where am I going to go? One of the things that should come to your mind is I'm going to go back to my maker. And you know what? I've worshipped him throughout my life. I've put my head on the ground for him. So I'm very, very happy to go and meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My shortcomings, he will forgive. And uh, my ibadah, the good deeds, he will actually accept from me. So your prayer, please be stronger for it. You know, be in the right company, try and listen to something motivational, uh, stay away from sin, and uh, Allah will strengthen you towards fulfilling this five daily salah. But when we have not bothered about our income or our eating of halal, uh, when we venture into that which is haram, then obviously we will become lazy and the energies we derive will not be used for the right things, but rather for the wrong things. Force yourself at the beginning. Make sure you are hard on yourself at the beginning and get used to it. Getting up for Fajr, making sure that you're doing your Isha, your Salah, and wherever you have missed it or overslept, remember the Prophet ﷺ says, مَن نَامَ عَن صَلَاتٍ أَوْ نَسِيَاهَا فَلْيُصَلِّهَا إِذَا ذَكَرَهَا Whoever has slept over a prayer or whoever has forgotten a certain prayer, um, as soon as you remember it, you need to fulfill it. So inshallah, may Allah make us all strong. Uh, it's definitely something that will protect you from evil and immorality. A lot of blessings will come about when you please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through prayer. So if you're struggling with it, yes, you're just a human being. Strengthen yourself and Allah will be pleased with you. And it's a long-term dedication. Don't ever, ever become uh, uh, you know, lazy when it comes to your prayer. Be strong. Be very dedicated. There are thousands and millions of people across the globe who wouldn't miss even one of their five daily prayers. Why should we be left out from that number? Why should we be tagging along at the back, right at the back, when it comes to the Day of Judgment and all those who are praying are right in the front, subhanAllah. May Allah strengthen us all. I've been to parts of uh, you know, the poorer countries of the world and I've noticed a lot of dedication in places that you wouldn't have imagined it. And then sometimes when you enter the cities that are luxurious and very modern and very, very advanced and you find people lazy, you start telling yourself, you know, no wonder why they, this technological advancement was not there at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. It's a distraction sometimes. People play games and they don't want to pray. People actually do things they don't want to pray. People are on their phones, on WhatsApp and on a call and they don't want to pray. They prefer all these things over their connection with Allah. Yet when you die, all this is not going to help you. Your connection with Allah will help. May Allah strengthen us, forgive us and grant us goodness. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.